Everybody. Welcome back, I'm Keith here, but we're playing another discussion video today. This time, we're talking about Chiz. Now, Thursday of last week, Chiz announced that he will be leaving Mineplex forever because of medical reasons. And, for people who don't know who Chiz is, because if you're living under a rock for like the past few years, Chiz is the owner of Mineplex. And it's weird that the offices aren't changed yet. They're probably building it right now. And it amazes me how fast this sort of happened. Because on Thursday, Chiz announced that he... I assume it's a he. I, I guess for the record, I don't know if what Chiz is, is a girl or a boy. I do not know. I'm just going to call him a he. But he said he was leaving Mineplex. Then literally a day later, like, he has no tags anymore. And it's just him with no tags. It's weird. And me wondering... Who can replace him? Who's taking over his position? There's actually two owners. There's actually two more. Two more, two more. It's two more people, alright? One of them is Apple G. Another one is Strut20. Both of them are leaders. So let's just say, you know, because, um, where are they? This is Apple G, okay, leader. And next room, the next room over, um, right over here, Strut20, this guy. So, everyone's saying about Chiz and all that, you know, it's just my, it's, it sort of came to me a surprise. You know, my initial reaction was, wow, that's my initial reaction, wow. You know, I was like, I was surprised, like I said, before, in my paintball video, in the beginning of it, I said I was surprised, my heart started to beat, and I'm going into further detail with this. And, to clear things up here, a lot of people are sad about this, mostly because they believe of this false information, which is sort of misconception. A lot of people think of this, and that's Chiz being the actual original owner of Mineplex. Like, in other words, he created this server, which is not true. Sterling? What is? Chiz and DefX came later on. You know, they, they, yeah. So Chiz is not the original owner. He's an owner. Not the original. So that's why, people, that's why a lot of people are just, they, they don't understand that that's true or not. Like, Chiz is not the original owner. Sterling is. And a lot of people may be saying, wow, this is the first time ever an owner has actually left Mineplex, a leader, someone, an official leader of Mineplex, is gone. Nothing's gonna be the same again. Well, how are we gonna recover this? What's gonna happen? Holy God! This, this happened before. No owner has left before. All right, and his name. Well, should, well, before I get to that, I should describe who he is. He's sort of an owner. He's an owner that no one really knew, like new people. Hello there, sir. Get out of my way. <laughs> he's a new... He's an owner. That's not... That no one... Like, none... Like, I, I doubt he knows who this owner is. I didn't know until I researched him and all that. But the old people who played, like, 2013 to mid-2014 on Mineplex, they know who he is. And that name is Spoo underscore. Now, unlike Chiz, who is one of the most... Who is, you know, an owner for so long, Spoo is different in a way as what other people are calling him. He was like the face of Mindplex. Like he like he was like the owner that everyone talked to, apparently. Like he is like really, really famous. And when he left it really like created a hole in a lot of people's hearts that he left. And it's like this really tragic thing is what's going on here. It seems like Chiz leaving it's not as traumatic as Spoo because I think uh, old people are like, hmm, Chiz is leaving. Huh. Let's, well, let's mine like Spoo. We'll always remember him. <laughs> and for a lot of people, you may be saying, is this, like, who's Spoo? Like, am I lying? No, I'm not. Because I have evidence. Three, three pieces of evidence that proves 
that makes you that make you believe that Spoo is real. Rather than people saying, Oh yeah, this guy named Spoo that was the owner of Mindplex. That was one of the owners of Mindplex. One of that one of them is it's a photo, a fan art of four. It shows Sterling, Chiz, Death X seven, and Spoo with Captain Sparkles. This photo or this fan art I should say is actually pretty interesting because uh it shows me saying previously that Spoo is the most famous out of the four owners because he's in the center of them. Being you know, I probably probably had Captain Sparkles just even it out, but you know <laughs> he's in the middle. Why would he be in the middle? That doesn't make any sense if he's like he's he's the least in power, as I heard. But he's the most iconic. Like, he was the face of Mindplex. Rather than Mindplex being the Mindplex logo, he was, like, he was the face of Mindplex. So, yeah. Not sure what to explain to this elsewhere, but that shows how famous he was, because, you know, people in the center of a photo usually means, well, probably, probably someone who built, made this photo liked Spoo enough. Because a lot of people like Spoo, and probably he in it would make sense. So, let's go into the next piece of evidence that I have. Now, my second piece of evidence is this photo right here, which is actually a 3D art of all the four owners. Like the previous one, except with Cal without Captain Sparkles, you have Sterling, Chiz, Defex, and Spoo. Which is Spoo is a guy in, tux in the great tuxedo, obviously. But, it's pretty, I don't know what this picture is exactly, if you like some advertisement photo, because there's... I assume that's Douglas the Dragon, which is, um, he's a dragon in Dragon's Escape. And there's a Karate Pig, or I assume it's a Karate Pig, because there's two pigs, so I mean, I assume it's one of those is a Karate Pig. And there's a bunch of blocks flying everywhere, and, there's a, and it's created by, like, some company, uh, let's... Created by, like, Wolf, Wolfie M. Herodes, whatever it's called. <laughs> I probably butchered that name. But this photo also represents just... Not, like, not a type type of thing. I, I'm not exactly sure, because whoever made this is like, you know, I like it, because it's 3D, rather than the last one being fan art, this one's actually 3D model, which means someone actually put time and effort into making this photo, putting it into 3D model, showing all these four owners, which furthers my point in saying that these, saying that, at the time, <laughs> my plex was sort of small, because the range of this is, like, from 2013 to 2014, sort of thing, and I'll explain the next photo, like, when, like, the end of Spoo's, you know, journey, and why he quit, like, Chiz, and you know, leaving for medical reasons. I'm gonna explain, like, Spoo left for reasons. So, this is what it is. Just want to explain another example of how, oh, like, he's actually in the front. And you know, also all the other, like, Chiz, Defex, and Sterling, they're, they're like in the back. And Spoo, like, sort of in the front, you know, he's the biggest, because so, he's the closest and it's, it's, it's like, that explains why he's more popular, I guess. You know, he's face my flex. I guess he's the most person that everyone talked to. Which makes sense, because of you know, my theory that he is. Which is making more sense. So let's move on to the next photo. My third example. And let's, let's, let's just see. My third and most obvious evidence is this photo right here, which I think it's this fan art type thing. Which says, Spoo. And it's a picture of him, one of the proud owners of Mindplex. So, if you, <laughs> at this point in time, if you haven't believed that Spoo is, like, a real guy, a real owner of Mindplex, to new, to new people of Mindplex, this is real. This is it. This is why it's real. This is real. He's a proud owner of Mindplex. <laughs> and, when the end of my, when the end of his time, you know, I said ranking from 2000, 2013 to 2014, he was sort of owner, slash, like, leader, you know, in the, the leadership team. He left because he was a, he was high school, he was a high school student, but now he graduated from high school and then he's a college student, and at that time, you know, folks in more life, you know, you graduated from high school, you're no longer a kid anymore, you're now, you're now an adult, so now, so I take, so I left Mindplex, so I'm going to college, deal with more life, and he even, like, you know, the, the video of him in TeamSpeak, sort of saying, you know, he's never coming back, I mean, I'm not going to show the video, because I don't know if that will be copyrighted, even though know, I put videos that are probably copyrighted anyway, but I don't care, but, you know, 
forget about that. He said himself that he was never coming back, which is true, he never came back. No one did ever really say no one really said anything about him. And the reason why I actually made the reason why I'm actually into this person, you know, researching him and all that is because there was a comment in um one of the your strut or Chiz's posts said something about like we will always remember Chiz like we remembered Spoo, you know, that sort of thing. And that's like I'm like, who's Spoo? And that led to this, which is why he is on this video. Mostly, you know, I don't even know what I don't even know what to name this video. But Spoo, I pro I was probably Kevin and I will probably like you a lot because Kevin likes to talk to the owners of Mindplex. He likes to, he likes to get in touch with them sometimes if he can. Because it's really hard to get in touch with the owners. He's really easy to get in contact with because, like I said before, he is one of the well-known owners and everyone talks to him. So, Kevin will probably like him a lot. I'll probably like him. And the thing is, he left on July 16th, 2014. I joined Mindplex in January of 2014. So, I, I was on Mindplex when he was around and I didn't even know about him. So for about like six months, I had no idea who this guy is. I still didn't know about him, even though I was on Mindplex when he was around, which is actually pretty bizarre to me, because I was on when he was on. He was owner. So yeah, this is uh. So if you guys, you know, there's enough information for you, then good. Let's let's do let's go with the outro. This is probably the first time I ever said outro. I'm gonna do the outro. So yeah, I'll see you on Mindplex. To do the outro. Now, the further up this video, the reason why I showed you these three photos is mostly because it is to represent how, like, we forgot, like, the new people don't know this guy who was well known in the old days of Mindplex, and the new guys, you know, just are gonna repeat again in like a, in like two years, like July 16th, 2014, when he left, and now we're in 2017. It's been two years, about two and a half years since he's left Mindplex for good. And this is what's gonna happen to Chiz. In two years, two or three years from now, no one's gonna know who Chiz is. No one's gonna, no one's gonna know who he is. And we're gonna be like, he's one of the owners of Mindplex. He did all this stuff. He's like, he created maps. He created, you know, his name's on maps. His name, he's an Easter egg of them. You know, all this thing, all this stuff. He is good. Chiz is needed. Why don't you go, Chiz? You could've stayed. Whatever, whatever, Chiz, you do, you do what you do. Not judging. You have medical issues. Rather than Spoo leaving because, you know, he left because he was in college. You know, you leaving because of medical issues. You know, take care, Chiz. You know, you're... You, you, this... <laughs> obviously, this is your home and all. You know, you do whatever you want, you know. You can visit, you know, maybe visit once in a while, you know. Go come to Lobby 1, you know. I'll probably still be in Lobby 1, you know. Doing, you know. Chilling, you know. AFK or whatever. And you're just coming like, oh, Chiz is back. But no, like I said in the beginning of the video, I, Chiz's owner tag is like gone. Everything about Chiz is gone. Except his profile. Like everything's still here, like the office is still here. But I don't know if they're, I don't think they're, I think they're updating it. So, for the video at the end, then this video off. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Like, subscribe. Comment down below saying how much you like Chiz and what like your encounters with him. I never personally met Chiz or seen him in a lobby before. So, I want to see, I want to hear about your experiences with Chiz. I know there's a bunch of videos of Chiz, people coming on and seeing Chiz, so, hopefully, you have a good day, everyone. I'm Keith Guy Bob, and I'll see you later. Goodbye! <laughs>